Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So we're still in my driveway, still uh, locked down, or at least not able to get on baseball fields and in our facility. So um, I've got this little wiffle ball bat right here. And uh, what I want to talk about today is getting the lower body loaded. Now we've talked about in other videos how exactly to get the lower body loaded. We're gonna hit on that really, really quickly. But if you haven't seen me talk about that, go back and check out our other videos on it. Um, but what I wanna talk about, I wanna expand on that and talk about how it's not just important to get the lower body loaded, but then to keep the lower body loaded as we stride forward. Keep, in particular, this back leg loaded. So let's talk really quickly about um, how to get this loaded real quick. So when I pick this front foot up to stride, the only thing connecting me to the ground is this foot. And my foot is obviously attached to my leg. So I need to get this leg loaded properly so that I can use the ground to create energy, right? When it's time for me to hit, this leg right here is going to turn, right? So I need to get this leg prepped to be able to turn explosively and again use the ground to create energy so i need to get this leg to load back if it's going to turn this way then i need it to get loaded back this way right and so the way i talk about it by the way we've got birds here we've got dogs we got all kinds of animals going on right now in the yard um, and so if i want to get this leg loaded i talk about spinning a top so if i want to spin a top really fast this way well then i want to counter rotate the top right i'm going to load the top this way i'm going to load my hand and my wrist and my arm this way so i can spin it fast in the other direction same thing with my leg i want my leg to turn this way fast i want to load it back and so real simple again, we're not going to go into super detail, but real simple, if I want to get this leg loaded back, I need to take my back pocket. So if I'm a righty, it's my right back pocket. If I'm a lefty, it's my left back pocket. So I need to take my back pocket and I need to get that pocket turned towards the pitcher, right? This way. When I turn my back pocket towards the pitcher, my hips coil. And when my hips coil, my back leg loads back this way. So that's real, real simple. Again, we go in more detail in our other videos. Go check it out. But essentially, that is getting me loaded, getting my leg loaded. And now I can stride forward, and I can hold that load, and then I can turn. When I have to hit, I can turn my leg. Okay? So that's how to load it. Now, here's the next key part, is that it's not just about loading my leg. I have to get it loaded, yes, but now as I stride, I have to make sure that I'm not letting my leg start to turn this way too early, right? And so what I see a lot of players do is one, they either don't load their leg, they just kind of rock back and then push forward, or two, they do a pretty good job of getting their hips coiled and loading their leg, but then as they pick up the stride, this wants to start to turn prematurely right so I'm this is starting to turn my leg is starting to turn as I'm striding out and I just kind of fall forward and then I try to hit from there right and so I'm losing a lot of what I've gotten that load that I've gotten I'm losing that before I actually turn my leg explosively so it's almost like why even get loaded if I'm going to if I'm going to use that loaded leg before it's really time to go, right? So I need to load, I need to load, keep it loaded, and then as I'm moving out, I'm staying loaded. An, an easy way to think about it is to just think like, you wanna keep your back pocket on the pitcher as long as you can until your leg turns. You can also think about your belt buckle. So if you have a baseball, baseball pants on or softball pants on, your belt buckle, you wanna keep that buckle facing this way. So when I coil, Right, so when I do this, see on my belt buckle, it goes from here, and now as I get loaded, it's going to be pointing right here. Now I want to keep it in that direction as I'm striding forward. If I start to stride forward, and my belt buckle starts to turn as I'm striding, well now look at, I've gone from here to here, right? So now my leg, instead of being completely loaded, like the top, right, if I turn the top, I'm going to spin it fast like that. If I just take it like this, and or if I load it, and then instead of turning it fast from there, I load it like this, and then I go back like this, 
And now I try to spin it, I'm not gonna spin it very fast, right? So I wanna hit from a completely loaded back leg. I want my hips to be completely coiled from when I turn. Don't let your hips start to uncoil and then try to hit. Does that make sense? So one, one easy way, there's a lot of ways that we work on this, but one easy way to do it. So we do a lot of drills where our toes are kind of pointed either at the pitcher or off towards the first baseman for a righty towards the third baseman for a lefty. And so I'll get myself coiled up to where I feel my back pocket turn and I'll feel my belt buckle this way. And so the first drill we do, we just go from here and then we just hit from there. But then the next variation that we'll do is we'll get here and now we'll pick up. So I've got my leg completely loaded. We'll pick up and we'll start to stride out. And I wanna try to stay coiled and loaded as I'm striding out. So it's coil, pick up, keep it there, hit from there. Right, because I can really this position right here really makes me feel that loaded leg, and I want to make sure I'm holding it. Some players, when they do it the first time, they'll go like this, and then they'll pick up their leg, they'll pick up this foot, and their leg just starts to unload too early. Keep it loaded all the way back until again I'm going to launch my swing and hit. Okay, so just uh, another tip. On this, we talk a lot about loading the leg, but you've got to keep it loaded as you're moving forward. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'm out of breath after taking three swings. Um, that's not good. But thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the uh, notification bell. Hit the thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And we'll talk to you later.